from the old hard drive, sticky tape, and place it on a new hard drive so you can um, use it like so. Okay? And uh, then You need to place it like so, back, and it's a little bit hot over here, so it doesn't work, so I'm gonna, I mean it's cold out here because I'm shooting out, so you're gonna see so much light, so I'm gonna put back the sticky tape on this hard drive, but because it's cold, it's probably not gonna work anymore. I replace it with some other sticky tape. It's good to do it at home, not outside. Okay, like so. And the problem with the uh, black serious hard drive, it doesn't come with those guys right here. And um, so you make sure you're not gonna, like, you know, shake your MacBook. Because it can fall off a little bit or just be, like, you know, moving. So, or you can try to get some, some screws like this, like they have, on the hard drive. And uh, basically, to put it back, I'm not going to put in this video tutorial, but you're going to use the tool that is in that gener general uh, toolkit that I purchased. And you're going to unscrew those screws, and uh, you're going to place it on the hard drive. And that's what you got to do for the safest. I'm not suggesting you to go like this. So it's going to be one of those T's. Uh, like a T, one of those guys, as you can see, it's going to be one of them, and um, I'm just going to go ahead and find out which one in a second, and I will let you know. Alright, to unscrew the screw, uh, screw on the hard drive that's going to hold our hard drive in the MacBook, this one right here, you got to use, uh, in a general tool that I purchased from Multitech, you gotta use from a Home Depot, like I told you, you gotta use dot zero fifty, um, that kind of funky uh, hat, and it's going to be a real small one, and uh, unscrew them one by one, like so, and put it on your hard drive, or on your new hard drive, which is Western Digital Black Series. 5 gigab 500 gigabyte hard drive. Here's the screw. Alright? There is a four screws, you gotta unscrew them all. Let me go ahead and do that. And let me tell you why I'm not putting one gigab one one terabyte hard drive in the MacBook. I'm not putting that because the thickness of that hard drive, 2.5 inches, is it's 12 uh, dot five millimeters high and basically it's not gonna fit in the MacBook 2010 white so 500 uh, so I, I didn't want to take a risk and I go with 500 gigabyte which is has the regular thickness uh, it's regular high of the hard drive and it's perfectly fits in the MacBook uh, 2010 white all right let me go ahead and unscrew the screws and we're gonna continue so I just placed all the screws as you can see on each corner of uh, right here, right here, right here, right here, and right here. And this is the last screw. And those screws using the dot zero fifty screwdriver and um, in my general tool. And those screws gonna hold my hard drive steady in the body right here using those oranges. Um, holes just gonna go into those orange holes on each side so you're gonna use the cable underneath 
right here this cable underneath of your hard drive this goes over here to the edge of the laptop and basically what you gotta do just place this in like so and you're set to go and it's so tight if you're gonna have a little bit more millimeters on the thickness as you can see um, even the little hard uh, little screwdriver make it higher as a battery you probably not gonna close your MacBook if you're gonna go with one terabyte 12.5 millimeters I'm not sure about it and that's why I went with 500 gig uh, gigabytes because it's same uh, size as their Toshiba uh, hard drive uh, from uh, Mac same size okay same thickness same height I'm talking here about the height so this is the lower than 12.5 millimeters so we're gonna close our car perfectly alright so um, it's it's very dark over here so let me go ahead and uh, real quick finish this because I don't want to shoot in the dark so then what we gotta do we just gotta put this back in our guy back in uh, the black holder that was holding the hard drive and basically what we gotta do just uh, make sure it's just getting there perfectly and just raise the hard drive and it's fitting perfectly make sure like so so this guy goes to the memory and this one flat goes to a hard drive you can see where the orange is it has some things it goes to the memory and this flat goes to the hard drive like so as you can see pretty simple we're gonna put two screws as we unscrew them those long black ones and I'm gonna change the hard drive real quick I mean the screwdriver one second and it's going to be dash double zero As again, it's getting dark over here and hopefully video will be nice in quality with my nice camcorder. But as again, I do not recommend you to do this at uh, on, a, on the outside like I'm doing it right now in my backyard. I'm recommending you to do it uh, at home where it's not so cold like right now. And it's a little bit dark over here. It's uh, uh, December 2010 and it's 7 a.m. already. So um, we're gonna put the dash double zero sc uh, screw head, and we're gonna put our screwdrivers in place. Two of them. Then we're gonna switch uh, the screw head to uh, dash triple zero for my general tool, and. Um, what I'm gonna do after that, I'm just going to put the rest 8 screws, put the cover, put the 8 screws and I'm done. Yeah, it's a little bit dark in here and it's not good to do it at the dark but I decided for you people I'm gonna dedicate this tutorial and I'm gonna do it for you folks. Make sure screws are in place. Don't screw them pretty hard. So you're set to go. Now what we gotta do, we're uh, going to set the cover right now. And uh, put the eight screws that we unscrew with the uh, dash triple zero screw head. And we're set to go. It's set to go. We're gonna put in the MacBook and it's gonna give us a symbol of the in question mark folder and the question mark with our new hard drive so what we gotta do after this we gotta put uh, our CD-ROM uh, our DVD with the Mac OS X install and um, we are gonna put it in a CD-ROM we are gonna reboot the computer put it in a CD-ROM and hold the C and hold the C till we are gonna see the menu and when we're gonna see the menu, 
we're gonna go to um, tools and I'm about to show you what we're gonna do and we're gonna format the hard drive because the new hard drive is not gonna be formatted for the Mac we're gonna format our hard drive and then we're gonna install the Mac OS X alright so it's, uh, stay tuned let me put the cover and then I'm gonna show you the other video how to format that brand new hard drive and use that brand new hard drive as well and it's going to be a second video of my tutorials for the Mac where I'm going to show you how to put the Windows 7 and the Mac OS X at the same time dual boot and um, what's going to happen uh, it's going to be another video tutorial so don't miss that out if you're a Mac user and uh, would like to know how to put the Windows 7 on your Mac safely and nicely alright and let me go ahead and put the cover and let's keep going here so you're putting the cover it's pretty simple you go with this side right here as you can see it's it's a little bit cutted by so like so goes over here where's your monitor like so you're not gonna put it the other way you can with the force but you know use your head and see it goes only like by like so and now I'm gonna go ahead and switch to uh, dash triple zero screw head and I'm gonna put my eight screws and I'm done let me go ahead and do that alright and I'm about to install the last screw I suggest you to install first on the corners and then over here and uh, yeah so you just learn how to install 8 gigabyte memory in your MacBook 2010 white and uh, high performance uh, Western Digital 500 gigabyte Black Series Scorpio hard drive and even if Apple doesn't uh, offer a 8 gigabyte upgrade for a white MacBook uh, 2010 it's possible and it's supporting and it works as a champ this is my second machine and I tested the first machine perfectly works uh, motherboard recognized the 8 gigabyte as 8 gigabyte and um, no problem with the hard drive as well and that hard drive is better than the Apple installs and memory as well memory has lifetime warranty and uh, Western Digital Black Series 500 gigabyte Scorpio hard drive has five years warranty and it's 16 megabyte of cache and it's 7200 RPM which is very quick and eating same energy as uh, Apple 250 gigabytes 5400 RPM stated even a little bit less stated by Western Digital thank you so much for watching uh, my name is Alexander Moroz and let me show you what you gotta do after you install and after you put in your uh, MacBook I just place the screws and then uh, turn it around and what I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the Mac OS X install DVD I'm gonna put in my Mac and um, I'm going to put the DVD um, and hold the C button till I'm gonna get to the, the screen of the menu as you can see my MacBook is like in a nice beautiful um, It has nice beautiful on the keyboard it's it's white but I have the protection you can purchase this as well I'm gonna put in my video description every single part so you can buy it as the way uh, I'm using right now and uh, after that I'm gonna place the black cover like this cover over here on the bottom so it's gonna keep white same company I just removed that for the purposes of the tutorial and I'm gonna put the description what kind of cover I'm using as well don't miss it out and as you can see my black and white Alexander Moroz uh, serious uh, MacBook 2010 white let me go ahead and grab DVD and I'm gonna show you what you gotta do next because if you're gonna put it in the computer right now you all what you gotta see you gotta see the folder and question mark is uh, blanking and how to fix it I'm gonna show you in a second thank you so much and keep in mind this this video will be split it into multiple parts so don't miss them out it's probably gonna be two parts 
uh, just because the YouTube uh, video size limitation. Thank you so much and don't forget I'm going to come with some more tutorials on how to install the Windows 7 and Windows XP on your MacBook 2010 White. Uh, at the same time to have the Mac OS X as the dual board. Thank you so much. One second please. Let me go ahead and grab the DVD.